Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I am Rarquaza, and this is, uh, Quaza Contemplates, uh, I don't know what it, what I'm gonna call it, actually, but, uh, what it really is, the whatever the title may say, uh, this is a Quaza Contemplates, uh, Warframe, sort of, but also I'm gonna, let me, let me talk about why I'm making this video. I'm making this video because I've been playing Warframe for a good long time, and, uh, I don't have... I have very, very small amounts of Warframe content on my YouTube channel, and I have been having a, uh, just recently I've been having a resurgence in desire to play the game again, and I wanted to kind of share my experience with, uh, with my YouTube channel. Oh, snap. Um, the specific focus of this video, though, is not, uh... Necessarily, if you if you've never played Warframe before, a lot of what's going to happen in this video won't make sense to you, and I think a lot of my YouTube viewers might not necessarily know what's going on. But uh, if you are interested, if this video makes you want to play Warframe, come hang out in my stream. Uh, we are I've been playing that a lot recently. I will be playing it more as the uh, new content is coming out uh, in Warframe. The Fortuna update is a big open world. Uh, update that is going to be really sweet. The uh, the Venus planes and uh, big old spider tanks and stuff. Uh, but let me get down to brass tacks with regards to what I'm talking about in this video. Uh, and that is this weapon that I'm using right now that you see on your screen at this current moment. This is a Zaw. Uh, if you don't know what a Zaw is, a Zaw in Warframe Z-A-W is a modular melee weapon uh, that you craft yourself and you get to choose the parts and uh, you, you assemble it yourself and then you uh, so it's pretty sweet now I will put an asterisk this is uh, was not my uh, unique creation I didn't come up with the idea for this um, can I kill this, this large lad over here? We can try. Oh yeah, no problem, actually. Maybe? I'm getting him. I don't know if that was... Yeah, there we go. There's the crits. Uh, this was not... I, I do not take credit for this Zaz creation. Um, I... This is a build that has been kind of... Like, other people have done the math, right? There is... It is kind of like an, an optimal uh, set of parts that create uh, this Zaw. The, one, the particular Zaw that I'm using is um, Vargit 2 Ruhang. Uh, starts with an S is the grip, and then the strike is Dokram. I don't know what the grip's name is. I'll have the... Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll I'll show that later. I don't. Stung maybe. Maybe the stung is a a rifle. In any case, um, the the set of parts uh, makes the Dockrum strike into a which is a uh, like a a sickle or a scythe strike. Right, you can see here. Um, it turns it into a pole arm. Or it looks like a pole arm, but it's actually. It uses a heavy blade stance, and the stance that I'm using is Tempo Royale. Uh, this is the first Zaw that I've made, and Zaws have been out for quite a long while. And uh, the thing that made me interested in making a Zaw, uh, there are two things. The first thing was I wanted to stop using Maiming Strike, so that was one of the goals. Um, the So I, I wanted to use a weapon that would... Uh, not cause me to have to use maiming strike, rely on maiming strike as my main uh, damage focus. And then the second reason is because I actually got a Dockrum Riven that has, uh, and I rolled range on it. So I'm, and that's that's just great. I love having range Rivens on my weapons, and it's kind of kind of good that uh, Melee 3.0 is coming out. I, I just wanted to get this video out before Melee 3.0 changed how things work. I don't think they'll, the changes will too drastically affect uh, this weapon in particular. I think it'll still be a good option. 
Um, but we'll, of course, have to see how things shake out, because I think they are going to change some things. They've mentioned uh, changing the way that range works and uh, some other stuff. Um, if the... So, yeah, those were my goals. My goals were to have a new melee weapon that didn't, uh, that doesn't rely on maiming strike in order to do uh, large amounts of damage. And then also, uh, I wanted to have... The other thing was, I wanted a slow attack speed weapon. And, uh... So when I when I show how my mods are, are laid out uh, a little bit later in the video, um, actually at just after this mission, let me kill this guy first. Um, after when I when I show you how my mods are laid out, I don't have the maximum possible attack speed. In fact, I opted to go for a lower amount of attack speed on purpose, in order to uh, kind of appreciate this uh, the combo. Which is actually the block combo for the uh, for the heavy blade stance tempo royale. Because if you if you just do the regular, um, this is the regular combo. I'm just left clicking. It's a four hit combo, or well five if you count that first hit hitting twice. But if you uh, hold down block while you're doing just left click, it does this cool slam attack, and the slam attack procs uh, the arcane that I'm using, the za arcane. And it's a good time, because the, uh, it sucks dudes in, and it, it's just a sweet, I love this move where you do the, you know, the kind of jump and then slam. That's, that's, that's a really cool, uh, moveset, I think. And it's, it's, it's just an enjoyable time. Uh, I actually, the, I got the inspiration to make this weapon from a post on Reddit that was, uh, Something along the lines of, you know, I have 900 hours in this game, and this still never gets old. And it's a, a gif of, uh, or, or, you know, gif if you're of that persuasion, whatever. That's a whole nother video conversation. Uh, it's a, uh, a gif of a dude, you know, walking through levels, and he's doing this stance. And uh, he's, you know, having a good time tearing things up. And I was like, hey, that, that looks like fun. I want to try that. And so I here I am doing it. Um, so next up we'll go to the the uh, simulacrum. And uh, I will show you the build here. Apologies that this video isn't like heavily edited with background music and stuff. That's just not my style. So if you, I don't know, if you're watching me for the first time or something, uh, apologies. That's not how I how I do business on my channel. Uh, okay, so, but uh, yeah, I, I I enjoy looking at the the combo uh, that I do a lot here. So I purposefully am not using very high attack speed at all, and um, and I think I I enjoy the result because it still does a ton of damage, and uh, I can. I can get to, uh, you know, you don't you don't need to rely on the the, the blazing fast um, attack speed that uh, that uh, other weapons, you know, a lot. I think a lot of the meta is going super good or going super fast. Um, heavy gunner, corrupted heavy gunner. I'll just select all. Hold on. Clear, corrupted heavy gunner. Select all. Okay, enemy level 150. Simulate. There we go. Uh, I should probably like. Hold on. Moment. Ooh, moment. Build up some Nidus stacks. The new Nidus Deluxe skin is also. Just super good here. Um, ow, these guys hurt. But the and this this weapon is not the most high damage weapon. You'll notice uh, that against these level 150 corrupted heavy gunners, you know, it, it is gonna it's gonna take a while here to to murder them. But 
uh, for like 90% of the content in the game, uh, this weapon is extremely useful. I, this is just the, you know, every Warframe video that showcases a weapon, you gotta get your level 100 corrupted heavy guns. That's just a, a standard. Everybody does this, right? Maybe it's, maybe it's level 100, I don't know, in any case. Uh, make me invincible. How do I, how do I do that? Uh, no, I don't know, whatever. Invincibility, there we go. Pause AI, there we go. But the other, the other thing that I really like about this weapon and the build that I'm using is that even at like 1.5 times combo, here I'll let me, my combo decay here. Um, even at like 1.5 times combo, my combo would decay. Please. There we go. E yeah, you, you all already get red crits at 1.5 times combo, and I really like that. This might not be the highest possible damage dealing... Um, like, mod setup, but it, it fills my desire of being able to see red crits at all times, and also, uh, um, being able to, you know, do 90% of the content without worrying about it. Like, I, I can take this into, uh, maybe I'll do a Kuva Flood later or something with level 100 enemies, and it, it just tears things up. It takes care of business. Um, so yeah, my Riven is uh, range and attack speed, and the attack speed slightly makes up for the this this the Dockrum uh, and the uh, grip that I'm using are were purposefully chosen to be really really slow. So uh, the attack speed on the Riven kind of makes up for that a little bit. If you don't have a Riven, this weapon works fine. You can put Primed Fury in there or something else. And of course, uh, like my Sacrificial Pressure and Sacrificial Steel are not max rank. So and neither is my Primed Reach, but. Um, so you could replace this easily with uh, Prime Pressure Point or Regular Pressure Point if you don't have that, and um, True Steel if you don't have uh, Sacrificial Mods or have them maxed or have a desire to have them maxed. This also requires, uh, I think it's either 6 or 7 Forma. Um, I don't remember if, I think it was a, it must have been 6 Forma, because I don't think there was a Tempo, or sorry, a... Or a slot. It'll require less if you don't use sacrificial mods. Um, I'm using Gladiator Vice here. The other build that I have is for uh, if I'm trying to do something that I do want to want attack speed on, I'll swap out Gladiator Vice, which is a little bit. The only reason I have that is because I I did want a little bit more attack speed, and it does give me a little bit easier red crits because it, it gives us a little bit more blood rush chance. But uh, yeah, lots of crit chance, obviously. Um, we've got the two gladiator mods. We've got uh, sacrificial steel is the main thing, and getting the level two with the uh, enhancement from the set bonus, the sacrificial set bonus, uh, really gets the crit chance up really high. We're at 64% uh, crit chance without any combo multiplier. And the combo multiplier system is changing too, so it'll be interesting to see how that changes this build as well after uh, Melee 3.0 is released. We're using Exodia Hunt, which is a chance on Ground Slam to pull enemies. It's a 50% chance at max rank, and it pulls enemies within 12 meters to the Warframe, even if you're not attacking. Uh, it's pretty sweet. That's another reason. Uh, there's a, other possible, possible Arcanes that uh, I've looked over, and one of the fun parts about this was that... Uh, I got to um, experiment with my own build. This isn't like a build... I, I copied the, uh, the Zaw type off of, um, off of that Reddit post, as previously mentioned. But uh, I, I built it myself in a way that uh, makes me... Oh yeah, that's a whole other discussion. Hold on. Oh, I'll get to why that guy died immediately. Um, I got to build it my own way, right? I don't think not every player would necessarily want to uh, to build this weapon the same way that I've done, because um, I, you know, they might want to attack a little bit faster. And uh, here, let me let me switch to let me switch to the the slightly faster 
version with uh, Berserker instead of Gladiator Vice. So this is slightly, a very, very small amount of crit chance less uh, with the uh, difference of I'm not going to channel either. Uh, with the difference of, we now can attack very quickly with, um... Okay, I, I should talk about why sometimes I'm just killing enemies. So the... the One of the benefits of um, having a Zaz is that you get the Arcanes, and this Arcane... Well, I mean, that's, that's just because they're, they've fallen down. Um, but one of the benefits of... This arcane is that it's, when it sucks enemies in, it makes them vulnerable to finishers, which, uh, and finisher damage. Well, this is a stealth attack. Gosh darn it. Yeah, that's because their AI is paused. That's my bad. We can turn that off. Don't pause AI. I am invincible, so it's fine. Kill enemies simulate. Um... I'm just gotta get a suck. There we go. And then you get the finisher damage, which is very strong at any level. Um, now, if you're if you're blazing through the levels really fast, uh, this may or may not be useful because the um, it does stop your momentum slightly. But uh, it also is pretty sick, and some of the the finisher animations are pretty dope. Uh, one in particular that I like is the one where you just kind of. From their back, you slam the uh, the weapon into their the back of their head. It looks it looks really good. But they do kind of do some some funny spinning move spinny moves occasionally as they uh, get get pulled into you. Um, I will let me. The one other thing is that the other main character. I play a lot of Nidus, but I also play a lot of Volt. And um, my Volt here. Let me get my other loadout. Around. Uh, that's not the right weapon. That's a different saw. Uh, Volt is uh, max move speed. I use max move speed Volt. Um, but with the attack speed build, I mean, you go you go real fast. So if you are looking for uh, fast, this weapon can definitely do it. Um, and you can even. If you want, like you could change out the uh, the grip or the links on the, the Zaw itself in order to get a little bit more attack speed, depending on what you care about. Uh, in my case, I, I definitely just wanted the ability to red crit as soon as possible and have about the slowest attack speed that I could get uh, and to to work off of as a base. So uh, let me let me see if we can if we find that. Yeah, this mutagen mass. I need more mutagen mass. Um, so especially for like exterminates or low-level missions, I'll uh, I'll bring my my volt uh, with max power strength, and uh, that really allows you to do everything that my the the old weapon that I would use is uh, the and this is an example of what the gameplay looks like when you're going fast. It's, it's kind of hectic, but you are murdering everything in a 200 mile radius. And you do occasionally get the, uh, oh, that's a, that was the good one right there. You do occasionally get the, uh, the finishers, but you also will very consistently get top damage dealt. <laughs> uh, we just murdered that pack. Just the red crits feel so nice as you're blazing through things here. And this is... This is with a build that has, like, the lowest attack speed that I could muster, pretty much, uh, on a, on a, on a Zaw. So, and, and I don't have to, uh, Maiming Strike was what I, you know, previously was using on my Guandao. I have a, a range ribbon on my Guandao, and I used to use that for focus farming a lot, uh, before Eidolons became the new focus farm, sort of, and ESO, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. That, that's as, this is one of the things that I love about this game, and and the, one of the reasons why I'm making this video is because the uh, I've I've been having such a positive experience uh, making in the process of making this za and figuring out how I wanted to customize it uh, to fit my own unique uh, playstyle and, and 
desires. And I, I felt like I wanted to share it. And so here we are, and this is uh, this is the result of all that effort, and I'm, I'm having a lot of fun. I'm ready for Melee 3.0 to see how I need to adapt my my build in order to uh, and actually reach the end before finding all the enemies. Um, adapt my build in order to make it fit Melee 3.0 a little bit better, and yeah. The other thing is I run Xenric, uh so I can, and I generally do channel a lot, um, which is even more damage when I'm not out, completely out of energy. I'm not actually on Xenric right now, so maybe I shouldn't be doing that. I actually forgot to swap. That is okay. Shit happens. We are... come on. Game. <laughs> Don't do this to me. There's like... All the enemies! Where are they at? Yeah, you get going really fast with Berserker and uh, Volt Speed Buff. And you just basically one-shot everything, even up to a uh, sortie level of content. Uh, you really don't have a problem going through high-level enemies, either. Oh, just a couple more enemies here. There we go. That's excellent. Let me see, we'll try and find, like, a, uh, either, maybe a good sortie mission. I forgot what today's sortie was. Or a, um... Or a Kuva Flood, if possible. For the high-level in-game content, rather than the level 150 heavy gunners. Because that's, like... You're not going to see those all the time. It's not really a good indication of... Of what kind of content you're seeing. Let me look for Kuva Flood here. What do we got? Kuva Flood... Kuva, there's some Kuva. Kuva... Oh, is that the Kuva Flood? Yeah, excellent! Exterminate, here we go. Now hold on, I don't like to bring... My, my Volt is not set up for... This is my Volt build, if you care. My Volt build has 300 health. <laughs> so, it is a squishy boy. Um... I like to bring Nidus into the Kuva Floods. And I'll, I'll put on the uh, the slower so that you can see the combos, because I do, I do like using the slower version. It's just more satisfying for me. I, sometimes I enjoy zipping around at the speed of fast, uh, Sanic speed, but other times, most of the time, I just like... You know, I get that when I'm trying to get something done quickly, but when I'm just playing for fun, I like to... Do it the nice, easy way. I'm also not Xenoric here, which was a mistake. And you, uh, the other thing is, if you are going to make a build based off of this weapon, and this stance in particular, so how I'm doing this is uh, you hold down block, so you've got to either have toggle block, or uh, I have block in my right click, and then I'm just hitting left click and holding W. Uh, you do move faster if you are sprinting when you start the animation, or when you start the attack animations. So, uh, and these are, these are level 100 enemies here. Or they should be level 80 to 100. What do we got? 82, yeah. It does take a, you know, you only really need like a small amount of combo multiplier to start uh, red critting. And I don't have, I have one combo duration mod on, uh, if you, if you cared you could put more in, probably. But, you know, whatever you want. I really like the air attack, it's like a neat hook. It's that one right there. There's also, also the quick melee is pretty cool. The first hit in the quick melee is just that double slash, which I really enjoy. And, um... 
And this is a this is a physical build, so um, it doesn't have any elemental damage, and I think that you could probably get more. Oh, this burst is gonna be annoying. You have to hit the bursa from the side. It does kill. You will kill level 100 bursas. You just have to not hit them directly in their front. They have some weird hitboxes too, occasionally. But as you can see, like I, you do kill it eventually. I, w I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. This is probably like a super situation. He just healed. Freaking great. Excellent. Oh, that's a death bit. Oh my lord. Oh, we got. They're doing the thing. If you haven't completed the second dream or the war within, look out. <laughs> this is spoilers. But yeah, if you uh, if you watch this video and you're like, hey, Quaza plays Warframe, come hang out in my stream sometime. We have a guild. We just finished the Hema research today. That was a thing that we accomplished today on stream. And by today, I mean the fifth. I don't know when I'm putting this video up. Even the Kuva Guardians at level 88, we can we can kill them with this this weapon. And I am channeling right now. But uh, you don't have to channel. They're removing channeling anyway. I don't know what they're going to do to it. The Zenerik is going to lose a passive. Once you get a little bit of combo meter, you can just kill everything. It's pretty good. And uh, that's that's about it. I think I hit everything that I wanted to talk about. Thank you for watching. Uh, I I really enjoy this weapon. It's replaced Maiming Strike for me as uh, my my most like mainly I use this now in missions, and then uh, occasionally it'll be uh, you, know, you gotta break out the old Super Vandal to do something else. But it's it's just a it's a very satisfying melee weapon that gets the job done in a lot of the content, and I uh, just wanted to share my experience a little bit with it. If you have any questions, I will be looking in the comments, and uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you want, and I'll see you next time. Take it easy. Buh bye bye